Oh, hello. Still on the boat. Still working. This is what I do. I'll be getting around to that one in a new video soon. This uh, video is, well, it's from a year ago. A fishing trip I did last July. And uh, this one was from Mike Mullard and Gary Carnburn, who's in Texas. Uh, Mike Mullard doesn't know he's, he's somewhere in the northwest. But uh, hi, Mike. Hope you're watching. Yeah, this is another one of those fishing trips. This is a place they used to go to that was, well, still do. It was called Tarvin Sands, but they've uh, had a change of ownership uh, because they have another thing going on up there, glamping. And I'm not sure what the name of it is now. I'm not sure if it's called Bigfoot Glamping or Christmas Farm. I think it's called Bigfoot Glamping. And yeah, new owners, and like everyone else at the moment, they've put the price up. It hasn't made the fishing any better or the fish any better. It's still the same fish. Anyway, check the video out. Well, good morning. It's not a bad day today. It's not as hot as it has been. This is supposed to be that heat wave thing. But I'm kind of glad it's cooled off a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we're back at Tarvin. And um, I don't know what this place is called now, Christmas Farm or Tarvin Sands, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm trying a different spec. Uh, there's some lily pads here, and I'm just wondering if there's going to be some tench or something about. Just try it, something different, isn't it? Ah, nice little gonk to start the day. That's not bad at all. Uh, just a little in. Nice uh, violet colours on the side of it. Whoops. See you, pal. Oh yeah, nice mitter carp. I've just had one snap me line before, well, get off before like. Let's get the hook out. Oh yeah, nice. All right, mate. <laughs> Made his own way back there. Woohoo! Oh, this is a good one. You can get it in the net. Nice common by the looks of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh, that's a beaut, that is. I don't know, that's about a sixer, five or six. Well, I was just about to have a drink. I had to throw me bottle down, so... Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, look at that. Nice little common. <laughs> oh wow! Is that a weird mouth on him? Weird gob. Poor thing. And a googly eye. Nice fish though. See you pal. <laughs> Second little gong of the day. I think I just had a couple of carp. Well, they got off. Um, it's been pretty good. Eh? I like this spot. There's loads of carp about. I've had um, two common carp and a mirror carp and a couple of gudgeon. Um, it's quite cool. Weather's nice. There's loads of carp here right now. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I'm enjoying it today. Really am. Okay, oh, another good gin. That's the third one today. Lovely, nice violet and blues in it in the side there. Don't think this camera's picking it up. See a pal. Look at all those geese over there. Can say. Just appeared. A little gonk. Whoa. Yeah, again, nice violet colours down the side of it. I just don't think you can see it in this light with the camera. But I can. The gunk. Yeah, again, nice violet colours down the side of it. See ya, mate. See ya, pal.
Wow, wow, wow. This is a good one. Doesn't want to come. Will you come in though? Well, that was a mirror or is a mirror rather, that was caught on a piece of cheese. <laughs> That's a five. You can see that there. Uh, yeah, about five and a half. Well, that's another common carp, my favourite fish, and it's another one that was caught with um, mature cheddar. Nice common there. <coughs> wow. There's loads of them. And there's more coming. I was just um, decided to have a bit of a dinner break and have a, a cheese sandwich or cheese batch that I've got with me and a bit of a drink. And um, you're not allowed to use bread at this venue, but they didn't say anything about cheese. So I thought, I've, I've never tried that before, so uh, put a piece of mature cheddar on me hook and I've caught two common carp with it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So uh, yeah, crack on, another uh, two, maybe three hours. And then uh, we'll see what's going to go. I don't want to eat the rest of my butty now, I just want to use the cheese. <laughs> anyway, see how we go. Don't know what... Oh. I don't know what that was. I think it dragged me into a weed, to be honest with you. Right, more cheese. The roach and it fell off. <laughs> oh well, back to it. That's the first roach of today as well. Well, that's another common. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, that. First roach of the day and it left out the water and everything and I've literally just cast in with a piece of sweet corn. And cheers pal, something's grabbed that. There we go. Oh, donk, I thought it was a roach. Alright pal. Yeah, nice. Oh, lovely. Cheers pal. Second roach of the day. Nice. Not, not so many roach today, it's been a bit unusual. Yeah, nice one. Not the same one I had before, no different one. See ya, pal. Well, as you can see, not a bad day's fishing there. Um, it was nice trying some different baits because you never know what's going to happen. And it's, it's worth giving it a go if it's allowed at that fishery, that is. It was quite amazing the way all those geese came in. There was hundreds of them. It was quite amazing. You do see them quite a lot there at that place, whatever it's called now. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Bigfoot glamping. I'll have to find out when I go back there. Um, the weather's going to be warm enough in a, another month or so. So I hope to get back out on the bank. I have got a few more fishing videos that have filmed and not put up yet. Um, if you've watched this one and stayed this far, thank you very much. And... Um, all I can say is, roll on the spring. See you soon, everyone.